Hi everyone, it's Sean. Forgive me, I'm holding my cell phone up, which is used to record this video, holding up with, with two hands. So I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible. When I say quick, it usually runs me 15 to 20 minutes, that's, that's quick. So today's video, I'm gonna answer a question from one of my subscribers and answer another hot topic. The first question is, what do I think about BLM and the riots? That's a question from a subscriber. There wasn't any other specific group that was that was asked of. It was specifically BLM. So I'm going to address that question. And the second part of, of the question is, what can we do with the current situation considering there's riots in different parts of America? What can we do as private security professionals to stay safe? Somewhere along the lines. So let's talk about BLM, but before we do that, I'm gonna say already that everything that I say in this video is my personal opinion. It's, it's only my opinion, that's it. I don't represent any government agency, any college, any employer, any government agency. I, re I represent nobody but Sean. These are just my opinions. So let's get started. So BLM, it's very difficult to address the issue. Um, it's really difficult to address the group. It's very, very difficult to address what my opinion is, and here's why. BLM is a concept, that's number one, and it's really hard to define a, a concept in terms of being safe or not. Uh, if, if it sounds a bit confusing, well, it's, it is confusing because BLM is also a concept, but so we'll talk about that. So the second portion of BLM that I want to discuss is BLM as an actual group association, maybe an unincorporated association. So there's, there's two halves. Number one is BLM as a concept, and number two, BLM as an actual group. So let's talk about the concept. Just the concept of BLM, I think in, in general terms, um, I don't think it's a bad concept. Look, if it wasn't for some of us fighting for certain rights, for our culture, for our, for our groups, for the color of our skin, we will be in a worse off predicament in America. Racism will, will always be there. And that's just because racism just on itself, by itself is not illegal, but discrimination is. So what I'm saying is you can be, you can be biased towards something or sway a certain direction or have a, a, a or have an opinion uh, towards maybe a, a race or somebody that has a different skin color than you. That's that's not illegal. Just just race just being a racist is not. But discrimination and hate crimes, that's a totally different story. Okay, that is something where you can be prosecuted on on the civil part and on the criminal part. But just the BLM concept um, is, is embraced by a lot of people. A lot of people who want to better their life in, in America. So being a supporter of the Constitution, I do believe that BLM supporters have a right to exercise their First Amendment right to free speech. Um, and being somebody that ha had to take the oath a couple of times, these are one of the these are one of the freedoms that I have to be willing to die for, is for people to exercise their first first amendment right to for, to free speech. Okay, and and I strongly believe in the first amendment, and I strongly believe in my purpose of preserving that right. I may not agree with everything that is said or or done, but I do have to preserve that right. Um, also, as a concept, people put hashtags BLM. Um, they might have a flag that says BLM, but that's the thing is it, it's, it's, BLM happens to also be a concept and it's hard for us to, to just attack concepts. When we went to war in Iraq and Afghanistan, looking for Al Qaeda, looking for, for ISIS, it was a really difficult war in the first place. And by the way, I appreciate all of you who fought for our country. I really do, I support you guys. But we have to say this, that the whole concept of, of death to America, um, this is something that terrorists chant. 
any anti-Western concept. It's just a concept. So when you declare war on terrorism, you're declaring war on a concept. And the, the distinctions are not clearly defined. How do you, how do you declare war on, on a concept, okay? And, and that's the same thing with BLM. I see that you know, there are people that are vehemently opposed to BLM, but you can't attack, um, you, <laughs> you can't attack a concept, okay? Now, I'm not comparing the two, you know, this is a terrorist organization and, and so is the other. No, 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 I'm, I'm, just, tell, I'm just showing you that it's hard to, um, a, to a, a, attack a concept, okay? Attack a concept or address a, a concept. Um, it's just, for some, it's a value system. Um, it's a way of life. BLM is a value system, a way of life. Um, and, and just by itself, you can't, you, you can't attack the concept. I mean, there's nothing that you can really do. People have a right in America to exercise their First Amendment. So let me get that out of the way. Second, BLM, there's, there's actual um, nonprofit organizations where they're able to accept donations and they're able to forward their cause of, of BLM. Um, you also have groups that are localized in in different parts of America, different parts of cities, they're, they're localized, and some of them have, want nothing to do with other BLM groups. Uh, some are too, I wanna say, there's some that are too violent, there's some that are, some others believe that other BLM groups are, are they're too moderate. Uh, they don't do enough. Um, so you have infighting as well. So it's it's really confusing on who's in charge. And it's my understanding as we speak here that nobody is in charge of, B, of, of BLM as a whole. Now, obviously you have your local leaders. That's a different story. And once again, they do have a right to First Amendment, to the right to have, a, to have freedom of speech, to express themselves. They have that right. Now, this is where the line is drawn, and this is what what is upsetting here is that you have some groups that that call to burn down cities, um, to encourage violence, and that's not right, you guys. Um, if you're subscribed to this channel, if you think that it's okay for groups out there to um, to promote the burning down of cities of of, of personal property, um, please do me a favor and get off the channel because I don't want anybody that thinks that that's okay. Now, there's, there's always diversity. Okay, Sean, I'll stay in your channel because you have a diversity of opinions. That's fine as well. Guys, I subscribe to other channels who have way different opinion than I do. I just, I just listen and the good information I keep and the bad information um, I throw out. So you could do the same thing on this channel, but, but I just realized that that's my stance. Um, and I know most of you support my stance that if, if you're into burning down stuff um, and you support that, then you should leave the channel. This channel is not for you because you're gonna, you're gonna be offended, okay? So I don't believe in that. I will also say that in organizations that do bad things, um, that terrorize other people, there, there is a, there's different parts of a pyramid. So if, if you can imagine, my arms are getting a little bit tired, so I'm trying to sh show you a triangle. But just imagine a pyramid, okay? Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this with holding holding up my phone with one hand. But let me try it. Let me try it, you guys. Just help. bear with me. So imagine a pyramid, okay? At the top of the rung is your cadre staff. These are your people who are shot callers. People that may call death to America. Um... They may encourage or incite violence. These are your cadre members. These are leaders. They are very charismatic and people tend to listen to them. They speak very good. The next rung on that tip of the pyramid are your, your, active, your active supporters. These people are the ones that are burning down places. These are the people that are taking in money. Um, they're taking in money from people who are willing to donate to what they believe is a good cause. And that money is used to bus people to certain areas. Um, in my area, I've seen people bust from San Diego to my area and it's uh, it's kind of interesting because they'll bus them in, in in August when it hits 120 degrees out here and they won't last more than an hour. Um, but that's what, that's what um, that the, 
the active suppliers will do is, is they're actively collecting money, they're into logistics, they'll arrange for certain transportations, um, pay for certain websites to be made. They'll, they'll, they're kind of like the logistical support, the builders, okay? And then you have the people that are setting fire to places, people that are breaking down the doors to businesses, looters, okay? These are the ones that are, are, are all encouraging uh, well, they're not encouraging. They're they're engaging in it. Okay, they're engaging it because active cadre suggests that they do so. And then on the bottom rung, this is the most of the base of the of the of the um, of the pyramid. Is you have your your passive supporters. These people will not engage in crime, um, but they'll give the thumbs up. So they'll see a video on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and they'll give the thing thumbs up, a happy face. Hey, great job. Um, if it's not for the, the 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 passive supporters, many times the organization doesn't have any existence. They don't have they don't have a following. Um, they want other people to see what they're doing and 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 support them. Okay, um, if they feel they're not being supported, they may they may not continue what they're what they're doing. Okay. Now, is this all of the BLMs? Of course not. And I still think that most um, of the BLMs that are actually organizations, um, I, I think that most of them are not violent um, organizations. And I know that many of you um, might complain and say, you know what, you're full of it, Sean. I don't believe so. But but right now, as I sit here in my car without any information out there, um, th these are th these are just my thoughts. And I'm just saying that because that's what somebody asked of me. What do you, hey, what do you think about BLM? Um, I also believe it, it's it's horrible if you think if there are, if there are these subgroups again, and then you have the the passive supporters. If they continue, if they continue to support this level of violence and, and chaos, again, it's not it's not a good thing. And the passive supporters are usually not the ones that are arrested, the ones that are held accountable. Um, if anything, it's usually it's usually the act of cadre, the the tip of the of, of the pyramid, um, and then also also the the active supporters as well. Um, they're usually into they're they're usually incriminated. Um, there's sometimes filing against them for conspiracy, so on and so forth. So, my talk that I just had about BLM that involves um, other domestic. There's other organizations that are in the United States uh, that are considered domestic terrorist groups. I mean, they're actually on file with with the FBI as a domestic uh, terrorist group. They follow similar. Um, a similar procedure as well uh, but again the question was specifically on BLM I could I could discuss other organizations uh, just give me a current situation uh, maybe send me some links and um, tell me what that has to do with security and I'll probably do a video on that as, as well okay so again just to be clear um, I will defend those who exercise their right to free speech I will defend that I took a note um, I, I will defend you if you are peacefully protesting. You're not encouraging others to commit crime or other types of violence. So I, I, I do support you on that. Okay. Um, one other thing I want to note. A discussion like this will bring a lot of comments, um, heated comments. You guys, we need to respect each other. Um, almost all of my subscribers respect each other. There's been... There's been about three who I have to remove from the channel. That's because they have a lack of respect. But everyone right now on the channel, uh, pretty much, I have no intentions on removing you. Actually, I thank you for your for your ongoing support. Um, I thank you for the diversity of answers that 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 you offer. Um, but please keep it professional. If you have an if you talk have an engaged conversation with somebody else, keep it professional. I don't want to hear no words of racism um, at, at all. Any 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 group out there, um, any color of skin, any any person has a, a different color skin than you. I don't want I don't want any any racist comments. Um, I will remove you from the channel. I also remove the comment as well. So so please let's be very considerate and respect others as well. Remember you guys diversity is so important. I have I I value diversity Without diversity, you don't have an interesting workforce. You don't have an interesting discussion. I mean, it's it's only going to be one-sided. So let's 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 be more diversified. 
<sighs> okay, that's a mouthful. Let's talk about uh, the current situations. Okay, current riots. You guys, most of America doesn't have a riot situation going on right now. Okay, the, the, I'm telling you, the media exposes stuff. I mean, they, they blow stuff up. The, the media is also to blame. The media is one of the reasons why that I, I feel that as an American, um, I, I feel as a Republican American or just a Republican, just, uh, just being a Republican, I feel that politicians out there are having me differentiate or having me choose between what side I want to be on. Do I want to be on people who are light skin in color or people who are darker skin in color? That's how I feel. Um, I, I feel like the media is making me be biased um, more towards favorable towards towards white people. You guys, I'm not I'm not even white. You guys, I'm 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 mixed, um, I'm mixed Asian and I'm mixed European. Um, but I I just feel I don't know how you guys feel. I feel like I'm forced to pick a side, and I feel like if 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 I if I pick um, if, I, if I choose to be a Democrat, then I'm against those who are white, and that's not the that's not the, that's not the truth. Again, that's that's the perception that's out there. That's not how I. That's not how I how I how I think. Um, I, I work in an environment where I'm actually the, I'm the minority. Everyone else is Latino, Hispanic, Mexican, um, but I'm the I'm one of the only non-Latinos at my workforce, um, and I and I and I love it because I work in a diversified environment. It's 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 just it's just awesome. But I don't want to I don't want to have to pick. Um, the type of people who I sh who I should be near that just cr just crazy and I'm not doing that um, I don't know again I don't know how you guys how you guys feel about that I will say this when you bleed you you bleed red everybody bleeds the same color okay everybody should be born equally every single time I don't believe that one class is is greater than the others it's just crazy what these politicians are are having us do and obviously I'm seeing having us they're not having us they're not making us do anything okay it's just the social media presence out there the peer pressure out there is, is is enormous do not succumb to peer pressure so those of you who are working in areas that are dangerous right now maybe there's some type of right situation um i want you to only concentrate on yourself try not i know you're gonna be anxious but just concentrate on yourself and what you have control over you don't have control over somebody that's burning down a building a thousand yards from you or 10 blocks away what are you gonna do you have no control over that but you do have control over your post and you have you do have control over the way that you feel over something okay you have control over your actions and that's that's it I just want you to concentrate on your environment forget all the other environments that are, that are around you now I on another note I do want you to be aware on what's going on just in case you need to you need to evade the situation. You need to leave. Get out. Get out. Get out of dodge and go. Um, now, some of you might be in security organizations where, where you are contracted and you agree to stay, and you have all the resources. Um, you have ten guys. There's an organization out there who subscribes to this channel that was deployed to a riot situation, and they're private security, and they stood their ground. They don't leave. There are organizations, security organizations, that do not leave. Okay, if 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 you agree not do not leave, then do not leave as long as you have the appropriate resources and you don't leave any man or woman behind. Okay. Now, if you, if your employer doesn't not allow you to carry any weapon and you're deployed to one of these situations, well, geez, you guys, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to leave. I mean, what are you gonna do? Okay, so let's talk about evading. So if you need to leave your post, um, which Again, consider the overall situation. Try to get a hold of your employer before you leave and just make sure you get permission. And if, if, if it's too crazy, I think anyone out, any employer out there would understand that it's not, it's not unreasonable to leave your post when you have a bunch of uh, rioters closing in. But if you decide to leave, know your escape routes. Um, ha have a map, a map of the area. Maybe download it onto your phone. Don't depend. Do not depend on your on a Wi-Fi signal, um, a mobile signal, because they could be burning the towers, and you're not gonna get any signal. Have it on a screenshot or something if you do have a cell phone. I would think, 
a lot of people do have cell phones nowadays. Um, which your, your setup, if you drive, if you drive a company car um, or your own car, I want you to put banners and insignia from whatever dangerous organizations are out there rioting. Have that propaganda stuff in the back of your car, ready to go. And I want what I want you to do is bring some tape, bring masking tape, um, bring rope. And I want you to put all that stuff around your car. So it, it, there's an organization called, um, I, I'm making this up, EM, EMF, um, Every Man for Himself, okay? Or something like that. It, EMF, Every Man for Himself. Obviously, we missed, we missed, we missed uh, an, an uh, initial there, but Every Man for Himself. They're coming in. I want you to have some spray paint ready have some banners and, and and put on your car every man for himself put a flag that's emf and when you're going down these riot lines i want you to out the window yell chants emf 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 okay chant and go along with the group so you can get the hell out of there but before you do that what i want you to do is um is make a video of yourself say hey my name is so and so i work for the security organization um, this is my equipment in the back. The, this is the banners that I'm going to be displaying. Um, I'm going to be making some chants so I can get out here safely. I fear death. I fear for my life. I feel like my life is in peril, immediate jeopardy. I might not come home alive. I want you to make a video of that um, and, and everything that you're doing and why and send a video to a trusted friend. Send it to a bunch of trusted friends just in case something happens because when it, when it comes down to it, when law enforcement wants to verify your statement on why you did, why you did, okay? Um, it just seems like phones disappear, the the um, the media was disrupted, it was corrupted, and you can't retrieve it. So send it, send it, send it to somebody. If you have a security uniform, um, throw it in the trash, okay? Throw it in the trash. Don't give any appearance that you're in law enforcement or. You're with the security company. Um, keep a, your guard card with you, maybe on your underneath the floorboard or, or hide it just in case you need to go through a checkpoint. And, hey, you know what? I'm private security. Uh, I'm going. I'm leaving my post. Um, would you please let me by or let, let me go through? Um, you could you could try that. Um, if if you have a security company vehicle, bring masking tape. Um, you guys, if it personally, it was up to me. If there's a situation where I might die. Um, I'm going to spray paint the, over the words private security. Um, I'm going to bring a, a wrench, pliers, a socket. I'm going to remove the light bar. I will remove that light bar. Now, co the Commander Hall channel will be disappointed in me for saying this because he loves light bars. But remove the light bar, take it out, cut off all the wiring, uh, put some tape on the top, make it look ugly, make it look like you're part of the EMF organization, spray paint EMF on top of the hood of your car, um, and, and put some masking tape, okay? Get rid of all that, all that stuff. Anything with the words private security, no, forget it, okay? Um, bring an extra pair of pants, you guys. Your uniform pants are giveaways. I already, know, I always know who the correctional officers are at Walmart, um, at, at Target. I, I know, I already know who they are or, or the off-duty law enforcement officers. I, and I know who they are. They always wear those uniform pants shopping around in Target or, or Walmart. Uh, most of the time without the uniform, which is a good thing, okay? Um, you guys, this is not professional advice. Always have a plan. You know, talk to your employer. Hey, what should I do in this circumstance? That way, you don't get terminated. Just in case you you do end up taking some of my some of my tips, some of my advice. Okay. Um, if your employer, you you need to have a rescue plan. How are you going to get your employees out of Dodge? If you're the owner, I hope that you're personally one of the persons that that might have to drive through this, one of these situations and uh, and save your people. Okay. Lead. Leaders lead from the front. Leaders go in first. So you got to step it up and, and do what you need to do. If you work for an organization like G4S, Securitas, okay, and these people are in these dangerous situations, if you're the president of one of these organizations, a board member, then get your ass awake, put on that uniform, get that car, your, wear your body armor, and save your people. That's what you have to do if you want to be a leader. If you are not a leader, then don't do it. Just chicken out. Just wimp to the side. Let your people let your people get hurt.
Okay, if 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 you are of this of this caliber, but the people ain't your people ain't they're not gonna let this happen. Okay, they're definitely not gonna have let this happen. And if you leave them behind, they're gonna remember you for their whole life and encourage other people to never work for your company. Whoa, okay, this is all a mouthful, you guys. If you have any other tips on how to get out of these dangerous situations, um, please, please let me know. If you have a bug out bag, whatever it is, uh, let us know tips. You guys, I can't cover every single thing of this video. If I need, if I should have made some clarifications on something, then please, in the comment section below, please help me out. I, a lot of you helped me out in the video, so I, I, really, I do really appreciate it. So anyhow, you guys, I'll take care and be safe.